This is the East Hartford High School Hornet News, created by the Video Production Club. Anchored by Morgan Matthews and Jonah Cruz Mojica. Filmed by Paradis and Angelo Mendez. And produced by Kayleen Comento and Rodiana Rodriguez. Each episode, our goal is to highlight some of the many activities, groups, and clubs that East Hartford High School has to offer and showcase what our buzzing Hornet community has been up to. And now, we bring you the news. Hello, and welcome to our fourth news show. My name is Morgan. And I'm Jonah. And we are so excited to be anchoring this news show featuring all things East Hartford High School. Our fourth episode will feature stories about events such as the Chamber Orchestra Concert, the Black History Month Assembly, and the Spanish Honor Society Bingo, and, of course, winter sports. East Hartford High School had the Chamber Orchestra Concert on Thursday, February 9th. The concert was composed of 11 music ensembles, and they played pieces composed of Beethoven, Mozart, and others. Friends of Music, as they have been doing at most East Upper High School concerts, provided refreshments for performers and guests attending. Students perform in small and large ensembles, each playing unique pieces that engage in the elegance of classical music and challenge each student. Overall, the students had an amazing night with performances that displayed the talent of each individual and impressed the, those attending. Great job to the East Upper High School Orchestra for their amazing performance. For the very first time, East Hartford High School held a Black History Month Assembly February 17th. Although Black History Month has been celebrated at each East Hartford High School for quite a while, no official assembly had ever been held. To make the assembly even more momentous, the entire production was run exclusively by East Hartford High School students, most of whom were freshmen. A small group of students approached Ms. Napier, head of the student council, asking to get involved with the school's Black History Month assembly. When they heard there wasn't one, they took it upon themselves to make one. With permission from the principal and many weeks of preparation, these students organized the entire event. The assembly focused on the history of black culture and its impact on the dance and music industries. Through PowerPoint and performance, students were taken through all eras of black music, from soul, jazz, funk, hip-hop, rap, and more. Several famous black poets and musicians were paid tribute during the assembly. At the end, students were invited to the stage, and minutes before the final bell, the stage was flooded by improvised dance and applause. The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive from both students and staff. East Hartford High School would like to thank all those involved in creating this movement for the school. To head coordinators Justina Vigdina, performance coordinators Eunice and Ama, MCs Ichinam and Donaris, backstage crew members Priscilla, Miriam, Ashley, Queenster, Xenia, and Princess, and physical programmers Daniela, we give you our congratulations on a job well done. And to the performers Leona, Queen, Mason, Michelle, Aries, Alyssa, Andre, Vigdina, Michaela, the East Hartford High School step team, and members of East Hartford High School band conducted by Tanasia and Marcella, we appreciate your participation and your wonderful performance. After such an amazing celebration, we sincerely hope another assembly will be held next year and every year after. Winter sports are coming to an end here at East Hartford High School, and our spring sports are starting to work out and prepare for the seasons, which include softball, baseball, girls and boys tennis, outdoor track and field, golf, and boys volleyball. With that, it is important that we recognize our sports accomplishments, which include their senior nights and other highlights that we've seen throughout the season. The wrestling team had a big winning streak, which led the team to the CCCs and the weight classes 110, 160, and more, where they won and the team was named CCC state champions. The team's senior night was February 8th to celebrate their one senior. The boys swimming team had their senior night February 22nd to celebrate their four swimming seniors and their four senior managers. The boys swam their best and their divers dived their best at the highest difficulty in 12 events that resulted in them winning 91 to 70 against Manchester High School. Since they won their senior night, the boys qualified for CCC state champions. The boys basketball team had their senior night on February 21st against Manchester High School to celebrate their graduating seniors, Chris Brown and Ellie Serrano. The boys fought their best fronts forward in the entire game and took the victory for our school. The team's record is now 7-12, to 12, and we couldn't be more proud of them. Congratulations to the boys' basketball team. The girls' basketball team had their senior night on Wednesday, February 1st, against Manchester High School to celebrate their senior, Victoria Silva Soto. The girls had a great game, and they won 53-41 to 41 as the final score. With a couple of more games after that, the girls made the placement for CCCs, but unfortunately lost the first round to E.O. Smith with their score of 29-66. to 66. 
The girls' record is now 12 to 10, and these girls show us every time they get on the court that they can come together and work as a team to succeed. The girls classified for states and won the first round and are preparing for the second. Good luck to our girls' basketball team. The cheerleading team had their senior night on Tuesday, February 1st, with the boys' basketball team to celebrate their five seniors. The cheerleaders were at most of the girls' and boys' home basketball games, encouraging them to continue working hard and make their shots when they could. They would have chants and stunts to not only motivate the team, but to engage with the crowd. The team went to CCC's where they did a series of flips and different movements as a team and solos where they landed in second place overall. We were very grateful for our cheerleaders motivating our players whenever they could and when they were at their lowest and cheering them on when they were at their best. The indoor track team also had their senior night on Wednesday, February 1st with the girls basketball team to celebrate their six seniors. The team ran many races that were in and out of state to show off their talent. Many of our runners also made it to CCC state champion and state opening. Runners Queen, Naya, Kiara, and Kaya were named Class L champions for the 4 by 20 relay race. These girls ran at Hill House for CCCs and came out victorious against four other schools. Some of our runners have placed nationals and are now in the process of training and building their strength in order to compete at the highest potential. That wraps up our fourth episode of the East Upper High School Hornet News. We hope that you enjoyed watching and we look forward to bringing you new content regularly throughout the school year. Another note, sign up for the NHS's dodgeball tournament going on this March. Only six people to make a team. Find some friends. If there's something going on at East Hartford High School that you would like to see showcased in an upcoming episode, please reach out to Mr. Siegel or any member of the video production club, and we will make sure to cover it. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.